So if height is greater, what we are going to say is uh, reduce. We're going to say make because if the height is great, we're going to make the, the width equal to the max uh, to the max width. Okay. So there we go. So now to calculate our ratio, we're going to say the ratio of reduction will be equal to the max width divided by the original. I hope I'm not getting confused here. Yeah, that's the one. So the max width that we want to be given divided by the original width. So that's uh, the ratio of reduction we are going to do. What the user wants versus what the image is. Okay, so once we have that ratio, now we can calculate our new width. So we're going to say our new width is equal to max width. Because like we said, if the height is longer, let me bring back that image so that I can explain uh, why we are actually doing this. Okay. So in this case, like uh, this top bottom image, let me use this other lighter image, which takes less time to load. Okay. So this one, since the height is actually taller, so we want our maximum width, our maximum, uh, our new width, to be equal to the maximum, the whole width, because we know that we are cutting the height since it's the taller one. So whichever of the two is taller, that's what we are cutting. So we are cutting the height in here versus if we had this image right here, this one, we're going to cut the width. So if it doesn't make sense, that's okay, because uh, as long as you type it like this, uh, things will work out. Okay. So the new width, of course, we are going to need to add the new height as well. Now, new height is not going to be equal to the max uh, height. It's going to be divided by the ratio, or multiplied by the ratio. So original height multiplied by uh, ratio. Okay, so the other one will be the maximum. The other one will be reduced accordingly. So that's it for this one. So we'll do the opposite in here. So instead of uh, max width, we're just going to change everything to height and to work the opposite way. So new height will be equal to max height and uh, new width. And just like that, these are the values that we want. So this is what we want to supply to this so that it knows how to reduce our image. Uh, simple and uh, straightforward. All right, so after that, now we can go to... Uh, oh. Now we can go to the actual adjustment that we need to make. Uh, let me check something here. Just give me a moment. All right. So now we can go to the actual adjustment. So like I said, it's image copy resampled. This is the function that we need. Now this function requires a destination image as well. So let's create that destination image. So we're going to say new image. It's also supposed to be an image resource, okay? New image is equal to cre image create. Now, since we don't have a file, we're not creating this uh, from a file. So we're just going to say image create true color. Uh, where is true color here? Image create true color, right there. So we just specify the width and the height. So in this case, we already know we want to add the new width here and whatever the new height is. Oops, there we go. So now we've created a new image resource. Okay, so simple and straightforward. I'll copy this one. 
and paste it as the destination. And then the source is the one we created here, that the original image, there we go, that's the resource that we want. So let me put that there. Mm -hmm. So now we have these values, destination X. Uh, so on the destination file, since that's the file that we want, the file size, all this is going to be zero. Destination X, destination Y, source uh, X and source Y will be the same. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. And then here the destination width will be the new width. And the destination height, of course, the new height. Now the source width here is where we're going to add um, the original width and the original height. Where is this? Original width and original height. Uh, this should be enough right there. So what we do now after we've done this uh, this thing here, we can simply say image JPEG to save the file. So now we know where to save this one. It's a cropped file cropped image file and then we can specify the quality so the the maximum is 100 but uh, it's a waste of space so i'm going to put it at 90. so we've saved just like that now remember what we've done here is simply resize the image we haven't cropped it we've just resized it so let's see first if the resize actually works so since everything is already set in here everything should run accordingly to plan. So let's try again and change this image. So we have an, a syntax error in the image class on line seven. It's saying unexpected bracket there. So let's go to the image on line seven. This is unexpected. It's because I added a semicolon at the end here, which I wasn't supposed to do. All right, so let's refresh and let's give it a shot. So let's go to this image. Now, before we do anything, let's see what is the resolution of this image. So I'll go to properties of the image. And as we can see, where is the details? So in the details here, we see that the dimension is 600 by 1020, 1020, 680. So what I want the maximum value is to be uh, 800. So let me select that. I want it to be either the width or the height to be equal to, what value did we add? 800. So there, 800 by 800 is the maximum. So the maximum of any of both of the sides should be 800, then we'll know that it's a success. So let me click there. And there we go. So it seems like nothing has actually changed. So if we go back to our folder, uh, let me bring the folder back here righty then I may open there and click here and uh, you see that nothing has actually changed it's still oh yeah nothing has actually changed so let me delete all these uh, files that have been uh, uploaded in here and let me try again browse change okay so let me go in here and see nothing has actually changed so let's see what's going on here what have we uh, made a mistake about so that i know what has gone wrong all right so most of the code here is just fine new height new new width so new width, new height. Everything seems to be fine. New image, uh, original width, original height. Okay, so here I think I've made a mistake here. I'm supposed to add new height instead of new image that I added. So let me do that. 
So the reason also that I'm not seeing any errors here is because I have a redirect right here. So if sometimes you're not getting the errors that you want to see, you can simply ca cancel the redirect so that uh, before it redirects, you see some errors, okay? Because error reporting can be uh, a pain sometimes. So let me try that again and change. Okay, so let's go back to our folder and we see that still nothing has changed. So there's still a bug somewhere. So like I said, let me go back here and remove the, uh, the redirect so that we can uh, see some errors in case there are any. So let me browse, do that again, change. All right, so we see a, a warning, image JPEG expects parameter one to be a resource, a string was given. So on line 39, so let's go back here in image.php line 39. Okay, so the problem here that we've given is uh, on saving. So everything else is working fine, but when it comes to saving, it's saying it expects an image resource. So what I'm supposed to give it is this new image. So let me put that new image here because that's the destination. And then I'm supposed to give it the file name. So instead of uh, deleting that, what I should have done is put there and put a comma. So the image resource, the destination where to save, and then the quality. So let's give it another run and see if it works and hit save. Please add a valid image file. All right. So let's add a valid image file and change. There we go. So we haven't gotten any errors, which means things worked. So let me go back here and switch on the redirect again and redo the process. Browse, load, change, and there we go. So let's see now if our image has been cropped and and yes, if you look at it here, the image is now 800 by 1200, which is very good because now the width of it is 800, which is what we want. So all we need now is to crop the top here and the bottom here. And then once we crop here and there, it's going to be 800, uh, 800 by 800, which is already 800 here. So everything is working fine. So let me try one more file that's uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, let me go to the desktop. Now this file I want to try is uh, six megabytes. So let's see if that's going to fly. So let me change that. Okay, there we go. So it has come up there. So let me see in the folder, there we go. And as you can see, even on this one, one of the sides is 800 by 1200. So everything is working very well. The only thing remaining is to actually crop the image. So let me delete these images here and then we can come back and do the cropping in the next video.